Alright, I wanted to make a demonstration here how to use a <coughs> connector J uh, object to go ahead and uh, connect to a MySQL and server instance here. So a couple things that you'll need here is you'll need the MySQL uh, connector J, which I'll put this in the link dump here. This is a one-time installer that you just need to install. It does take a little bit to install. And then secondly, you'll also need uh, you'll also need this MySQL connector Java that bin jar file here, and uh, this just helps us with the driver manager. And I'll put this link in the dump as well. So uh, to get started here, um, t once you've installed the uh, unless once you've installed this file and you've downloaded this one, you're going to want to go to your downloads, and then you will want to select. You'll want to select your MySQL connector Java object here. I'm going to copy it. And I'm going to make a new folder in my project here. So I'm selecting the project. I'm right clicking and hitting new folder. I'm just going to call this external. And then I'm going to paste it in here. So now we have that file. And now I'm going to right click on that file and I'm going to hit build path and add to build path and now that's going to allow us to connect to the database so and that's kind of all the prereqs that you'll really need for this the rest of it here we'll just go import java.sql and that'll take care of a lot of other things for us alright so first things first we will need uh, some variables here, and I'm doing this all in the, in the main method just for simplicity. You can do these in other classes if you want, but I'm going to do uh, private static uh, connection connection, and I'm going to do private static statement command, and this is just an object. So this is the connection that will actually connect to the database, and this is just a command that will actually uh, go ahead and it will, <coughs> sorry, this will create a command against this connection here. And then I will do private static uh, result set data. And this is where the data will be returned to from our command. All right, so I'm also going to make a connection string as well. I'm going to do private static string connection string. I'm going to set that equal to something that I had in my other project here. So I'm going to just copy and paste this really quick. And I'm going to put it here. And this is something that you'll want as well. You'll want it to be very similar to this. I'm going to get rid of this really quick. Just for demonstration. And all right, so that's going to be mostly everything we're going to be working with. So now let's go ahead and start creating our variables. So we have a connection is equal to a driver manager. And I get connection. And you can see there's several different ways I can do a just a straight up connection to a database. I can do a connection with some properties. And I can do a connection with a username and a password. And ultimately, we're going to use the username and password in this demonstration. So, so I'm going to do git command. And I'm going to do connection string, just for right now. And then I'm going to say command equals connection dot create statement. And that's going to create a command against this connection object. And what are you, the method for git string is undefined for driver manager. Oh, sorry, git connection is what this should say. And then it'll want me to surround all this with try catch. And same thing with this. So there we go. All right, so I'm going to leave the stack trace there for right now. And so we have our command is equal to our connection. And now let's insert some stuff. So command equals connection. Or sorry, command equals. <laughs> sorry, command dot execute and we're going to insert some stuff into a table so I, I'm going to say insert into customers I know that's a table that exists in my database tester this is the database here 
into customers and and the I know there's a column also named name in customers I'm gonna say values and I'm gonna say Mike and notice how I surrounded that with the single quotes that's because in SQL you need single quotes to recognize a string and Mike is a string so <laughs> So command that execute. So let's see what happens here. This is pretty much everything, right? We have a connection, we have a command, and we have an execute. So let's run it. I'm going to run my tester. And we're going to see, must specify a port after this. Well, all right, so let's go look what port we need to run. So I'm going to right click on in my instance here of SQL. I'm going to say configure instance. And to view that, I'm going to go to database. I'm going to say manage connections. And we can see on our local host here, on port 3306, I'm going to copy this, I'm going to minimize, and now after our little colon here, I'm going to do 3306. All right, now let's try that. Okay, so now we have access is denied for a user. All right, so now we need a user. Okay, so now let's make a user up here. Let's do private static string username equals root because I didn't set one. This would be maybe the username that you set up for your instance. For my instance I made no username so I'm just going to use root. So now in my driver git connection I'm going to say username but it's also going to want a password too so up here I'm going to say private static string password and I didn't set one so I'm going to leave it blank and I'm going to say password. Okay. All right. So Okay. So now I have my password set up. So now let's try it. And let's see access still denied for root. So that means let's see. Let's let using password. No. So that must mean I need a password. Now the only other option here is you use your computer password, which I'm going to use here. So let me type it in here. And I'll type it off screen. You type whatever your password is and scroll down. Okay. So now I just typed in my password for whatever it is up there and I set it to right there. So let me run it. And now it says table tester customers does not exist. It's probably because it's called customer, I'm guessing now. So let me run this again. And nothing happened. So it was successful. Um, I can create a finally block here that prints something out and says print line success and let's change Mike to Steve success so yep successfully entered some something so now let's finally do something with it so I'm gonna comment this out and in our try catch up here now I'm gonna say data is equal to command dot execute query. Now we're using a query because we're querying the database for some for some information. So I'm going to say select all from customer. So it's going to select everything. Let's just select name actually. Select name from customer. So data equals command execute query select name from customer. So we're going to get all the names and we're going to say if data dot first meaning that is there a row is there a row to be accessed and it's going to want me to surround with a try catch so I'm going to say okay I'm going to say while data dot next while there is a next row to read and I will say let's see I wanted to print out the name so I'm going to say system dot out to print line I say name is equal to and now I'm going to say data dot get string and now it wants the column index or the column name more more to be more precise and I can just say name the index could I could have probably put zero there because zero is the first column index in this customer but I'm gonna say get string and I'm telling it to get the column and get the get the first row right so it's it's getting the first row and it's getting the the first cell in that first row under name and then it's going to as long as there's a next one it's going to go to the next row and it's going to say okay get the next or get the cell in column name for the next row 
and go and so on and so forth, so we'll keep looping through. So now let's see what happens here. And there we go, we have some pretty good looking output there, right? We have a name is, I guess, uh, I guess I was testing this a couple times before. Uh, name is equal Chris, Tim, Tom, Mike, and Steve. So there's all our data. So there is our demonstration. And hopefully this helped uh, with this video.